So I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me to the Nurse Expo, no, Nurse Link Expo. I'm gonna be going uh, with a friend. So I'm on my way now. So yeah, I'll vlog and have you guys, I don't know, see the event. I don't know how it's gonna be. I've never been to any event like this. And I'll, I'll give you guys more detail. I'm just driving, so. We'll fill you guys in with the details as to what it is um, after I'm done driving so I can read it. Um, but it's basically an event where, uh, where nurses or aspiring nurses can meet and congregate in this um, expo convention kind of thing. That's how I'm envisioning it. I've never been to one of these. But um, yeah, it's cool because you get to network and talk to other nurse professionals and there are vendors that are going to be there. They're also going to have speakers, which I'm really excited about because there are two YouTubers that I watch and they're nurses. One of them is Fatima Francesa and the other one is Alexis from The Nurse Nook and they're really cool um, YouTubers that I like to watch and I have been watching them for a while so it's pretty cool that they're going to be there and speaking and maybe I'll get to meet them. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to get going. I'm really excited to go and to network with other nurses and just, I don't know, just be in the nursey environment be in the nursing community and get to know these people normally i wouldn't go to these things but i don't know now that i'm getting more into youtube and i'm taking it seriously i really do want to go to events like these so anyway all right i'll see you guys there So whatever your passion is, whatever your drive is, whatever your why is, right? That is what's going to unite us and link us and help us to understand that we are more similar in our challenges, right? In our aspirations than we ever thought possible. And I'm hoping that today, as you exit this conference, this expo, that you realize how powerful we are, right? How beautiful our profession is, right? And how much more we can accomplish once we come together. And that's really why we're here. So without further ado, we're going to begin our first segment. I'm going to make my way over there and just now that she has a vendor space outside, so please do visit it if you have not yet. Um, we have Fatima Francesca. Um, she's an RN, an FNP student, a YouTuber, an influencer, an entrepreneur. I run out of space. Um, <laughs> uh, she has a YouTube, oh, wow, she has a YouTube channel with over 2 million views focused on beauty, health, and lifestyle. <laughs> Where she vlogs about her daily vlog, vlogs about her daily life as a nurse practitioner student and a nurse entrepreneur. This inspired her to create her own brand, Fatima Francesca and Company, and line Dreams and Degrees, a brand representing education, saving lives, and chasing dreams. We have Ms. Jay Quinn. She's a critical care nurse in the United States Air Force uh, and a DAP student specializing in geriatrics and a YouTuber. Um, she has an online shop called the Nurse JBT. Her widespread social media presence on YouTube and Instagram focuses on motivating, uplifting, and empowering current and inspiring nurses. We have Ms. Alexis Nicole, named Nicole as I was told. Um, she's a new grad RN working in the ED and a YouTuber. She's the creator of the Nurse Nook with over 130,000 subscribers, where she has where she shares her nursing school journey and continues to share her personal experiences as a nurse with more viewers. Um, to receive tips on how to seamlessly survive nursing school. Uh, she's part of the UCF nursing school alum. And then we have uh, Nurse Alexa Lee. She's a critical care RN with background in surgical transplant. She's a travel nurse and she loves to travel abroad. She's a new YouTuber that uses her page to inform and inspire other nurses on the same path. Um, <laughs> Shows and drains. Oh. Okay, that's not shift change. during shift change. Right before report, after. Okay, my critical care nurse is kind of show. Come here. <laughs> I don't know about you, but with, with where I work, nurses are crazy. They're like demonic. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> There's a wrinkle in your sheet, or if the bed is on hold tight, or if something tough. 
up there or the draw sheet or if there's not enough chucks, they think you didn't do anything all night. I work nights, by the way, all that, right? They think you, you just, just, you just like, like, I don't know. Like, well, that's, that's what they think of night shift, right? So it's like, it's not fun. I mean, social media like does make nursing like so cool because you get, you know, people are like, oh my God, you know, like nursing. <laughs> Nurses.com, and then you have platforms like nurse.org, and I have a lot of respect for those platforms because I was just on some of these websites as you're talking, right? When I was a new nurse, actually when I was in nursing school still, um, I literally wouldn't understand concepts. Like, I just didn't know, like, how the dopamine receptors were working and how GABA and all that, like, I just didn't get GABA, right? <laughs> what? Didn't get it, right? Never use it as a nurse. <laughs> but it's like, you don't get it. So those avenues and platforms are good, and that's your niche. You're one of those educated individuals that likes to break things down, right? That's more power to you. Nurse.org, if you want to do travel nursing, if you're looking for scholarships, if you're looking for different opportunities in your state or your city, if you're looking for, if you are looking for motivation or inspiration, you have those outlets there. But everything has its respective space, and it has its respective time, you know? And that's what really, I think, nurses in general, with what we do at work, we show that your shift is a balance, right? Don't spend all your time passing meds because you're gonna be screwed, right? Don't sit there dwindling over a bed bath for four hours and, and like all that stuff. Your bed is important, but your patient is more important. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's that balance, right? Um, now this, I'm gonna ask you, and I'm gonna, Pastor, I'm gonna single you out because uh, you have two million viewers. Um, how do you hope to impact the field of nursing? Because you said you you keep it one hundred, right? Like you're real, <laughs> right? So let's get a little personal. Like, how do you? Because you met your goal, your social media goal. How do you hope to impact the field of nursing? Um, I just like to see, um, just I guess, just being a positive, you know, just as a person. And I guess we always go back to like being, you know, doing it for the whole church, like which I am at this point. Um, you know, just representing like my own culture and being able to be bilingual. I mean, I be a bilingual provider and all that stuff. Showing that, so I want to impact people in that way, and especially females, of course. Like, you know, we all have like female goal bosses and all that stuff. So, yes, I, I'm like all about that, as people know that I'm all about like the girl boss vibe. So, just I mean, that's really just my, my the impact that I want to make. Like, I want people to be able to see me and be like, okay, I can do that. And that's what I've been sharing with um, people in my group because I'm like, you know, you see me, but like, it's not like, oh my gosh, I'm like out of this world, like, you cannot do it. I'm like, if I'm here, any, any of us can.
So that can cause your nurses to get, you know, fatigued and burnout, depression can set in, you take that kind of thing home. And yes, nurses have to have a lot of self-care, but also on the unit, you have to have support for your nurses when they deal with those things. Because a lot of times in the critical care environment, you have patients that have been there on the unit for, you know, days turn to weeks, which turns to months, and you become attached to the patient or their family. And then when you have those situations where they pass away or, you know, they code, then that can take a toll on you. So you have to support your nurses, you have to be there for them from that time. Um, I agree with all of them. It, it all comes down to support, just being able to support each other. Um, also, at, you know, in the field and as nurses, it's not just a one person thing. You're not the only nurse there. It's great to be able to support each other and if somebody needs a hand, if somebody needs help, just support each other. And I think, um, going back to your question, how can we implement that? Um, it's just being that, being that one person that's always, you know, I, whenever I go to work, even um, work or clinical, because I'm in my clinicals now, you know, I try to be that person that's just like, I try to be positive. I try to come in with a smile every day. I try to say, hello, good morning, even if it's a bad day. Like, you know, it's, I don't know, somebody mentioned it. You know, you really never know what somebody's going through. So just being that one person, we feel like, oh, Fatima's here, okay, yeah, you know, like we're all smiling. You know, we're all struggling at the end of the day. So um, that's kind of how I like to implement um, support within each other. It's just, you know, just trying to, trying to be that one positive light in the, in the field because it does get difficult. And going back to what she was saying, the critical care environment, definitely. Um, there were times, you know, when you had codes, you had deaths, and you could just feel like the air, that heavy, that heavy air um, in the unit. And so, just being supportive amongst each other is really how we can make that change. I say awareness. You have to let management know what you need, because a lot of times, you know, management they don't really know what's going on on the floor. They really don't. You may have like one thermometer for the whole ER. <laughs> I mean, if you were my tenant, <laughs> I said, that maybe I'm the only one doing temperatures out here. <laughs> so, I mean, I have one thermometer. You know, but anyway, we have more now. <laughs> 986. So, I'm one of those nurses that I'm always at the principal's office. I always have some type of idea. Like back I am heading over to my car the event just finished and it was so awesome so cool getting to meet these um, people and networking with other nurses and just hearing their thoughts on certain topics and the questions that they're being asked and everything was just it was, it was really cool I came with my friend um, who's also a nurse critical care nurse and um, she had to leave earlier so now I'm walking back to my car and it's a nice cute little forest thing here. I'm in the University of Central Florida, UCF. Um, and yeah. Um, oh, there's people. I feel so awful when I vlog around people. I have to get over that, but okay, they're making out. So I got pretty good footage of the speakers and they had a person um, asking the questions and they went one by one answering them um, so it was really cool I I have pretty good footage of that I think I'll leave it in the video this might be a really long video but I don't know I, I there was so much good content everything they were, they were talking about seemed like there, it was very helpful information and insight and wisdom from these um, nurses so I want to put some of that footage here because if you weren't able to come to any of these events I know they had them I know they had one in Los Angeles one I think in New York um, so if you weren't able to make it here's the footage just being around all these other nurses sparked um, I don't know that fire that passion for nursing that I have and I have always had and no matter where nursing takes me and where I end up working in life I always have that that desire to help people and um, and just inspire other nurses and help them. I had to change into the sweater that I brought and thank God I did because it is quite chilly in Florida today. Um, I'll have to check the weather but it feels like it's in the low 70s or maybe I'm just exaggerating. I'm always cold. Okay, that was really awkward. There was a guy walking behind me and I got really like weirded out. I don't know, it's just weird. It's weird vlogging with people around. I gotta get over that fear. Um, so anyway, 
this cute little sweater I got it from Walmart yesterday yes Walmart for 12 90 something almost $13 um what was I saying so yeah I got to meet Fatima Francesa and I got to meet Alexis it was really cool because I got to actually talk to them and um, I took some pictures which I'll put in here. Fatima was the first person I went up to. Um, she had her little booth with her tumblers and her t-shirts and her merchandise. Um, so and then she at first I took a picture with her. I was so just I, I don't know I was kind of scared to go up to her but I was like you know what get over your fears because you being shy you're gonna miss out on everything that life has to offer you and you could make connections with other people so yeah I had my my um I had that thought in the back of my head I'm like just go just do it and my friend is also really shy too so um but one thing is um it's really cool because Fatima she's also she mentions it a lot in her videos that she's really shy too so I feel like from one shy girl to the next she could tell I don't know she was really nice and really sweet and she just talked to me um, shortly there and um, I told her how she's inspired me in nursing in general and also to um, make videos that help other people aspiring nurses or nurses they ask me questions and I wish I had you know a lot of time to talk to them so I thought of just making videos on subjects that I get asked a lot so yeah she's inspired me to get on YouTube and be um, a positive influence and use this as a platform to inspire other nurses and lift them up and provide education on certain things that I was looking for when I was in nursing school so and then same thing goes with Alexis she does pretty much the same thing and she's awesome um, with her content so I went and saw her my friend and I just um, just waited for her and I was about to leave I was like I don't want to be a creepy stalker person just waiting like hearing other people's conversations like I didn't want to interrupt either so I just stood by and and then finally she finished and my friend um, asked if we could take a picture with her so we did and I'll insert that picture here as well and then we um, I just started talking to her and I told her that you know she's inspired me also through YouTube that's how I know her, of her um, and that her content is really awesome and um, I told her that I also made videos and that's um, something that and we just started talking I don't even know how we got to the subject of reading comments and anyway she was just very um, encouraging and don't let anything get to you kind of thing because she's been doing this you know obviously longer and she has more of a following and more um, videos and things like that so she just get, gave me a couple tips we were just like really talking about the nursing community in YouTube and how it's really empowering it's such a great platform to inspire and to lift each other up and it's it's already such a difficult profession to be in because it's so challenging in so many ways that you you don't need a bully you don't need a hater that you just need other fellow nurses to come together and lift each other up and I know I keep saying this but it's so important because um, they talked about it today um, nurses eat their young that um, that's got to go there's I guess the nurses support their young but just to get out of that environment of bullying and they talked about bullying a little bit too anyway I will put all that footage in here so you guys can see it too after I talked to Alexis if you guys don't know Alexis her channel name is the nurse nook and I'll link everybody on in the description so you guys can go check them out because I highly recommend you checking out their channels they are really truly amazing people and they're so humble and so down to earth and raw about you know everything their day-to-day -day lives Fatima she vlogs her day-to-day -day life and I feel like I'm there with her and I am going through the same nursing struggles as her and same with Alexis so it's really cool to just get that input of positive and edifying people because Otherwise, it can get to just burn out and you really need that support. Definitely go check them out. I talked to Fatima and we just we just talked a little bit more. Um, I went to back to Fatima's booth um, to check out her mer merchandise and see if she had any tumblers and she was out. So she was like, I'm going to restock the website. And I got to talk to her a little bit more and it was really cool when I met um, Fatima. She was so down to earth. She's like, I love your makeup and yeah, put your, put your name in the comments and I'll... I'll 
I'll check you out. And Alexis, you know, she said the same thing. She's like, oh, you know, let me know uh, what your name is and I'll, I'll check you out. And I was like, really? Really? <laughs> I don't know. I just felt so, like, weird. So that's, that was really cool. Like, I was not expecting that at all. I was actually not expecting to talk to them for that long. But they're such cool, down-to-earth humans that I don't know what I was freaking out about. So anyway, that I had a really good experience with everyone else there. I honestly thought I was just going to go there and take a selfie and then that was going to be it. But also I think what helped was that there wasn't an enormous, overwhelming amount of people. So I was able to like talk to them and get to know them a little bit more in person. So yeah, I'm not going to lie. I was fangirling a little bit um, because these are people that I had been watching for a very long time that actually inspired me and motivated me to finally go on YouTube, something that I had been wanting to do um, and start my channel for over a decade. <laughs> so, and finally, now that I have a niche to um, really create content on, it's, it's really cool to find other people that have the same interests. So anyway, shout out to them. It was such a nice environment. If you guys can ever go to any of these events, you do not need to be a nurse to go to an event like this. Um, it's called Nurse Link, and they have it in different um, state. I mean, yeah, different states. So they had CNAs there. They had nursing students. They had aspiring nurses. It was open to anybody that wanted to go. So all right, I think I'm gonna cut this video here. I'm gonna head out now. So I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> I need to work on my outros and I also I wanted to say thank you so much to all of you guys that have been watching and have been commenting really nice things and have been supportive in um, on my channel words can't express I really didn't think that I would make an impact like this on people and when I get their messages and um, DMs and just see how I'm actually helping them because they tell me that I am and it's just it's such a good rewarding feeling that I'm able to help someone beyond the bedside and it's a caregiver it's a nurse or a nursing student or an aspiring nurse it's, it's so powerful because there needs to be more of that out there but in reality there's the opposite and the more we stick together the better so anyway my world peace rant is over. So yeah, again, thank you so much. If you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll also link some other nursing videos down in the description, but do check out those other girls um, that I mentioned. And again, thank you. 